Hello, video reviewers. Um, today is going to be a bit more of an interesting video, mostly because my camera is now on the right side instead of the left, and you get to see some of my modeling equipment and skin care, <laughs> which I don't goddamn use, even though my skin is damaged all hell. <laughs> this video is more about what I think Power of the Primes actually is. Because, well, we got Vector we got Vector Prime here and Liege Maximo. So my thoughts on what Power of the Prime actually is, is, well, it's kind of in the name. Power of the Primes. So it's interesting because this is just said to be Liege Maximo and Skullgrin decoy armor. Well, that's kind of the problem. I actually have Leech Maximary out right now. But my thoughts are as followed. This is Skullgrin. This is also Skullgrin. But this is Leech Maximo's power that has been blessed to Skullgrin somehow. The reason I say blessed is because the majority of the pri some of the primes are dead. Uh, Soulless Prime was killed by Megatronus. Megatronus is the Fallen. Um, I think there are some. Uh, the the 13th Prime is quote unquote dead, but that's speculation. And it just kind of doesn't make sense. Sorry, I'm just trying to dig out Vector Metal Hawk. So it just doesn't make sense because, well, why would the Primes now be this when they were already quite big Transformers? So it's just a really simple thought of Skullgrin, Skullgrin, and then the power of Liege Maximo, which is Trickster, because... Leech Maximo is basically, um, Loki. So you got Metal Hawk, Metal Hawk, and then Vector Prime's power over time. It just makes more sense that way, that they're blessed, and not, oh, this is actually the Prime shrunken down and hiding in a pretender shell. It just, you know, makes more sense. To be blessed, which I'm not really sure how that would work, because Transformers have powers based on who they are, how they are. So, transferring a power from one to another does seem a little bit tricky. But it does explain, like, um, Bludgeoned, who's coming out, who has the power of Quintessus Prime, and Quintessus, if I remember correctly was the Prime who really liked to make beasts. But also, if I remember correctly, Quintessus is not evil. So why would Bludgeon have something, have the power of a Prime that wasn't evil to begin with? Or, um, Submarauder having the power of Alchemist Prime, who was, well, very not evil, <laughs> to put it bluntly. It's just a really simple thought. If you actually agree, if you actually agree with me, why not comment down below if this video actually does get, you know, noticed, unlike a couple of my others. <laughs> so anyway, maybe comment down below what you think. Maybe if you do believe that this is Liege Maximo, but like in a new body, like somehow they retrieved his spark if he was a prime that died, and they just put it into a smaller body and then gave him a pretender shell. So that way he wouldn't actually get hurt, per se. I got this one today and it's still fairly tight. So, you know, I would be interested to see what people think. And that's really just been it. It's my thoughts on what I think Power of the Prime really is.
power is given to Transformers, not the actual Primes returning, unlike Titans Return, which should have just been called Headmaster's Return or something like that. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video and hopefully actually get some interesting comments down below about what you may think.